So what we're going to do today is build a basic pipe rack. Um, there's no plans, there's no anything with it, it just some idea I had. So we're going to take a look at CAD work structure 2019. Now, just to give you a little heads up, I am not a structural uh, designer. I am a piping designer. And so some of my functionalities might not be exactly right, but it gives you a good overview of uh, what the software can do. So let's get into it. Since they split out CADWORKS structure from CADWORKS Plant Pro, um, they've changed the interface up a little bit. So. CADWORK structure has its own uh, ribbon on the side and the ribbon looks totally different than the way it did in CADWORKS plant when it was part, uh, in steel. So the first icon that you see on the ribbons is shapes. So if you go ahead and click on the shapes uh, button there, you will be brought up to the different shapes that you can choose. You've got wide flange, channels, angles, T-shapes, double angles, squares, uh, square tubing, round bar, and flat bar. Um, then down below, you can choose what size beam that you want to use. Um, or actually, you know, first thing, it's selection between wide and uh, S-shape. Uh, then what size beam you want to use, what material, uh, what angle it's going to be at. The next one is your cardinal point. This is where the center line will be and where it's going to come out at. Uh, then what you're going to uh, name, uh, what is this group? Is it a beam? Is it a column? Is it bracing? Uh, Etc. So let's say we're going to do columns. Okay. When you do that, it changes the layers to columns. So all the columns, all the beams, uh, they all have their own different layer uh, inside of AutoCAD. So it'll help you uh, select that. Okay, so we have our beam. We're going to start off with our columns first. So we're going to click on the center. Okay. And you've got a couple options down here. Pick point select lines, column length, uh, and a couple others. So we're going to do pick point on this one. So we're going to pick point, hit insert, and I've got a little marker right here at 50, 50, and 100 uh, on our coordinates. And we're going to go up from there. And let's say we want this to be 30 feet tall. Okay, so there's our first uh, column. Now, we're going to copy this. That's the beautiful thing about CADWORKS is you can actually do copies. And we're going to move this over 20 feet. Okay, so there's our two columns there. So, well, I don't like this being a 4 by 13. Let's say we want to change that. So we're going to click on that, double click onto it, and then we're going to change our uh, properties. So we're going to say, let's make this a little beefier. Let's make it a uh, 8 by 40. Okay. Now nothing's changed yet because you got to come down here and hit apply. So there, we've made it a little bit beefier. Now let's say we have a couple of those. Okay. Click both of them. Again, we're going to go down to 8 by 40. And we're going to hit apply. And you see that it changed both of them at the same time. So if you put in your... Uh, base columns or your beams and you go oh well that's the wrong size you can select all of them double click on one of them make that change and it will make the change for all of them so let's go ahead and put our column or our beam in here 
And now we're going to go, let's make this a uh, six by 24. Okay. So we don't want the center. We want the uh, top. So we want the center line to be at the top of our beam. And we're going to change this to beams. And we're going to hit insert. And we're going to come over here and we're going to actually select the center line. Okay. Now if you notice that the beam has a different color than the um, column. And you can change this in your config file. So we're going to come over here and hit that center line right there. It's asking me if I want to do a bolted or a welded. And just do bolted. Okay. And you will see that it automatically cut the beam down to cope it on both sides. Now let me go ahead and, oh, don't want to do that. And just change this to shaded. Do a left view right here. Now you can see that it created a little air gap in there for your bolted connection. Okay, again, this is CAD work, so copying is very easy. Copy. We're going to drop this down 10 feet. So there's our first part of our uh, pipe rack. Another way that you can build your structure in CAD works is actually using lines. So if you start out with a sketch, uh, tell you what, let's change this to 2D wireframe. And we are going to move this another 20 feet. Okay. So let's say we start off with just a sketch. So we have some lines and we're going to go again 30 feet and we're going to do, um, we're going to copy this one 20 feet. We're going to connect our lines and we're going to copy this one down. 10 feet okay so if you go back to your shapes uh, toolbar over here we're going to pick our wide flange we're going to pick that beefy 8 by 40 there we're going to do our center line change this to columns and instead of pick point we're going to do select lines and you hit insert so it's asking you down here to select your lines that you're going to create for your uh, columns. So we're going to click on that one. We're going to click on that one. And we're going to hit OK. And you see that it, brought, it popped those in there. Same thing with the beam. So if we change this to top. Oh, wrong one. And we're going to do a 6 by 25. I'm going to change this to beams. And we're going to hit select lines. Click this one. Click this one. Bolted or welded. And we'll keep it bolted just like we did before. And bolted. So it asks you that bolted each time uh, for each beam. And so you can quickly go ahead and sketch out your outline of your structure and then use the uh, select lines command to populate those uh, columns. Now we're going to finish this up a little bit. What we're going to do is we are going to uh, put some intermediate beams in here. So we're going to select or pick point and come over here and go here to 
here. Again, bolted. Okay, and we are going to drop this down five foot. Copy. Ten foot. Do another copy. We know this is 20 feet apart. We're going to hit 20 feet. Change that. And now we have the start of our um, support structure, pipe rack. So I hope that helps you understand a little bit about the basic functionalities of CAD work structure. Uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we're hoping to get more videos out and take your suggestions and create those videos. Uh, so until next time.